Hey, what's up guys? Zach here, back again from Nerf On, and today I'm bringing you another review. This review is on the Nerf and Strike Elite Stockade. So, starting from the front, we have a regular barrel, does not accept and strike attachments, which is a little bit annoying because they clearly have space to attach, um, the, sorry, to have an end strike um, attachment nozzle, but they just didn't put it on there, which is a little bit annoying, but yeah. <clears throat> so moving a bit further back, we have a really tiny foregrip. My front finger actually slips off it sometimes, but then this little bit often catches it. But yeah, we have a little iron sight up here um, that aligns with the back iron sights right here, or plastic sights. Um, and yeah, so moving back, we have a jam door. It's a regular jam door. So if your dart gets jammed in the flywheel, so you can just put your finger in there and clear it out. Um, but the gun will not um, rev without the with the jam door open, the jam door must be closed for it to rev. <coughs> Excuse me. But moving down, we have the cylinder. It is a 10 round cylinder, and this gun comes with 10 darts. They're just regular elite darts. There's nothing special about them, really. So, yeah. Moving back again, we have a tack rail, a tactical rail. A little dart tooth up there, nothing special about it really. Uh, but below that, we have the battery tray. This takes three AA batteries, I think. Yeah, three. And yeah, so they're really easy to find, which is really good because they're probably the easiest batteries to find. So yeah. So anyway, guys, moving down, we have a the handle, and it has a sling attachment point on it. And then we have the trigger, which you cannot pull unless the gun is revving. But you may notice that there is actually no rev trigger on it. Because on the strife, there was a rev trigger, and that's on the rapid strike and all, all those other flywheel losses. This one actually has a little switch right here, which you have to flip to rev it. You have to flip it back, and then you'll be able to fire off fire off all of your 10 rounds which is really cool. So something I really don't like about this gun is the fact that it's not um, clip fed or magazine fed sorry because magazine fed blasters are much more practical and yeah you don't have to always be shoving in darts into the front. So yeah that's just something that's a little bit annoying and also the fact that it doesn't have a red trigger like I'm so used to using the strife like I always catch myself trying to use a rev trigger but I have to bring my um, fingers up and flip the switch which is really annoying because I'm a left handed it's just I'm left handed but it's designed for right handers to flip it like that but I'm left handed so I have to bring my finger up and then put my finger back on the trigger which is really annoying but yeah so Moving back, we have the stock attachment point, regular stock attachment point, except any stocks. So yeah, the stock that it comes with is this very nice stock. It can hold ten darts because it has these. It has um five dart holders on each side, so you can store your darts. So like, so you have, so you're out of ammo in here then you can just pull your darts out of the stock and keep firing. And something that's good about the fact that it's not magazine fed, the fact that you can front load, but I don't really like front loading. I like having several magazines in my tack vest <coughs> and then just going through them because having loads of um, ammo pouches all around you is just really annoying and they'll, they'll really get in the way. Uh, but yeah, the paint is just your regular white and blue elite paint. Um, but 
this side is the interesting side because like if you can see there the nerf logo is highlighted in black stockades in white and strike elite and strike elite but then when we flip it over it's still end strike elite but it's on the, the uh, battery tray and the nerf is not highlighted stockade is not highlighted it's right there if you can see it and yeah that's then there's no end strike elite there so that's just something that kind of bugs me because it's designed for right handers so if a right hander is holding it like that then they'll see all the painting but I'm a left hander so I go like this and you see just the plain side which is kind of annoying but that's just that's just something that I find annoying you guys might not because you guys might be right handed but if you're left handed then you would definitely face that problem if you're really just focused on looking cool then you may as well just get well like trained to be a right hander if you want to look cool because then um, you'll have all that stuff on that side of it because I'm a left hander and I'm going to stick with being a left hander then all the blank side is visible because usually you'd be shooting it like that across your body I don't usually shoot like this and hold it hold it out and this this plaster is just too short to hold it out in front because you'll be you will kind of feel a little bit cramped with this arm like usually when you're supporting a gun you want your hand to be all the way out here but if you put it all the way out here then you'll block the dart from going out so yeah that's just kind of annoying but yeah so anyway guys that was my review of the nerf and strike elite stock aid if you guys like this review don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see all of you guys in the next video